Welcome everybody, I'm Scott Garibay, and this is our Fantasy Flight Games Star Wars tabletop role-playing game, uh, Admiral Stator's Gambit. Uh, this is our fourth session, and um, uh, why don't we go around and introduce everybody and the, the, the characters we're playing. I'm Mike, I'm playing Usul Kirin, a Corellian noble with a specialization of warriors, Cheat Show Knight, and Starfighter Ace. All right. I'm playing Gar. I'm a Wookiee, a Jedi Seeker warrior, and a Pathfinder Shicho Knight thing. Um, Dave, and I am playing Torin El Gorth, who just goes by Ren, and I am the captain of the Star Kraken, and I am a Chevin hired gun. Indeed. Hey, I'm Nerdarkus Ted. I'll be playing Valkro Zan. I'm a Togrutan bounty hunter, Jedi. Uh, my specializations are Gadgeteer, Force Sensitive Emergent, and Sheehan Expert. And I am just Bart, and I am playing Rael, a Twilight Bounty Hunter, a mildly psychotic one at that. Uh, one of the founding members of Tusk and Tentacles and partial owner of the Star Kraken. And, well, watch the last video. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So there. <laughs> there so That's there because you're in a box. <laughs> so let's recap for everybody. Point of view. Yeah, let's see where we are, because it is pretty critical to our start. So uh, when we started last time, um, Poe Dameron had killed Kylo Ren uh, you and, and everyone on the finalizer, which is a large uh, Star Destroyer held by the First Order. And um, at that point, we started, and the uh, our heroes were bringing, everyone at the table was bringing back the, um, the Ewoks to Coruscant. Uh, the Ewoks had been saved from Zaid Ren, who was one of the Knights of Ren. And um, at that point, uh, you guys were called and requested uh, aid from Poe Dameron. You came, you aided Poe Dameron. Poe Dameron at that point was a fugitive. He had went, uh, he had um, go, uh, went AWOL, ignored the commands of General Leia Organa, and he had said, "Hey, we're gonna, um, we're, uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and kill Kylo Ren. It's really critical." And he had taken that action and completed it. When you got there, and you were at the point where um, you, w when you got there, and you're at the point where you were helping uh, Poe Dameron, there was a discussion of what should really happen with Poe Dameron. You guys were headed back to deal with Admiral Statura, tell him why you had disappeared. Um, Poe Dameron was a fugitive. If he came in with you, it meant a lot. You'd have to bring him in as a prisoner. Some of the group wanted to bring him in as a prisoner. Some of the group wanted to let him go free. Uh, there was a. F that is where I think uh, <laughs> some of the division between the party members began, uh, and um, Tusk and Tentacles, Rael, and Rin uh, aided Poe Dameron in his escape. Uh, allegedly, yes. and I ended it. Oh no, Je uh, Jedi. <laughs> oh yeah, allegedly, that's right. We Jedi Kieran was very <laughs> concerned about this and tried to apprehend Poe Dameron. He got into a a lightsaber fight. A blaster, uh, Poe with a blaster, him with a lightsaber fight, in space with Poe Dameron, chopped his arm off, opened his suit, and killed him in space because the suit was clearly not sealed. Uh, so uh, Kieran Usul uh, killed Poe Dameron at that point. You guys, the uh, no one knew. Uh, you guys returned and spoke with Admiral Statora, and he informed you that Diala Pasil. A Jedi, uh, a Jedi who had been hidden uh, for the many years since uh, since Order sixty six, uh, was now the Jedi Master and had taken over the Jedi Council. At that point, there was a big scene with um, between. Um, hold on, one second here. Between Valkro's on, Valkro actually used the, the the Force sense to get a sense of if she was being genuine and if she was actually a good Jedi. She was a good Jedi and was dedicated to to re-establishing the Council. He pledged his um, his loyalty to, to her and the <coughs> Jedi Council. At that point, uh, Gar did the same, and Usul did the same. Uh, Kieran Usul did this. Kieran did the same, and um, and then at that point, the entire group discussed with General Leia Organa. She was introduced, and she asked Kieran Usul if she could have. His, for him to give to her his holocron. Uh, he said, no, you cannot have your holocron. And one of the other reasons why was there was uh, clearly um, General Leia Organa, within the last 30 days, has lost Han Solo and her son, Ben Organa, um, or Ben Solo. 
Um, yeah, exactly. We're not completely sure. Um, Yana Solo? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, had lost two of her family members. She was really distraught, and there was a big question on why she wanted it. It was discovered that she wanted that holocron to bring back Kylo Ren as well, a that, force that spirit. Was, that was our, our sense. Sus, sus, yeah. Supposition, correct. And I, you said I was absolutely certain that's what was going to yeah, happen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and it wasn't difficult to determine because... Um, she was very adamant that she get it, right? Also, she was adamant that she got your holocron because there were holocrons available, um, and your Jedi, uh, you, the the Jedi you had learned through from through the holocron, Daska specialized in Force spirits. So, in in all of the Force lore around bringing forward Force spirits, just so everybody is aware, there has never been a dark side Force user. Who has been a force spirit that has not been available to them Ex-Arcoon? previously? Exarcoon. Exarcoon. Uh, okay. And I said none. Yeah, we said none other Exarcoon Delaya. But actually, isn't that within Star Wars Legends? Old Republic. It's still yeah, up in the air. Star Wars Legends. It's I'm only, talking Star Wars that's canon. Legends, not there has canon. never been a Jedi who has been able. Yeah. Uh, what about exactly. in, what about in the movies when Anakin? You know, at the end of Return of the Jedi, he was redeemed. He is apparently. redeemed. That's why he. That's okay. why he oh, appeared that's as a completely Anakin, valid Darth point. Vader. And actually, I, I, you know what? You are the first to earn uh, XP for the night. Uh, that is two XP because it is an excellent point, and we will actually be dealing with that very issue tonight. Yeah. All right. So with that, um, uh, Leia said, <laughs> yeah. "I want this holocron." Kieran said, "No." At that point. Rael said, I'm bored by all of this and thought it would be a great idea to throw some shade at General Leia again. <laughs> she had it coming. I forget what she said, but it was her exactly. fault. That bee so had he, it coming. He, he, <laughs> yeah, he dissed her and walked out. Uh, you know, it's like, who's this lady? Why do I need to talk to her? Right? Yeah. Forgetting that he's on a rebel ship or a, a resistance ship. And so General Leia Organa, in what well, what could very arguably be termed a petty uh, a petty comeuppance or a uh, something out of spite, decided that she would Mildly. keep your ship, completely have it have have resistance mechanics, dismantle it, and put your the parts of your ship into other ships. That basically was basically she became a pirate. Exactly that that yes. was happening as you guys were walking out. Uh, um, Rin and Rael were highly concerned about the fate of their ship. And at that point, um, yeah, exactly. And, and they were, there was good reason, because your ship was about 15 minutes from being, you know, uh, the victim of essentially a chop shop. And they couldn't get a new one. And was, your parts would have been spread all across uh, other, other vehicles, other starships. So at that point, um, you guys realized that you needed to get Leia to what she wanted for this to stop. You uh, made uh, a deal with some, with some resistance officers, and Kieran's holocron was lifted from him by Rin and Rael successfully. For the record, neither of us actually lifted the holocron. It was Posh. It was uh, Posh. Posh, that's true. Do this I know that? Yeah. No. Uh, well, no, you just so, said the holocron's yeah, gone. Right. But you don't and know that at it, that point, there was actually... One of her operatives that took it, for all you know. But... At Except that, for it, wow. no. Have to kill no. All right, let, let me get, let me get oh, all the yeah, way through the recap, and then we'll, we'll get into it. So at that point, Posh... Uh, who is a who actually works for Tuscan Tentacles at this point? He's a hired, uh, he's a hired employee of Tuscan Tentacles, a member of Tuscan Tentacles. Um, member. Yeah, uh, so <laughs> he be paid. Yeah, it's true. So at that, oh, that's a good point. Contractor, there you go. Yeah, he's All right. <laughs> so at that point, um, we uh, we went forward, and um, you guys were you guys were fully restored with your goodwill toward the resistance, and your ship was put back together with and fully fueled. And you were allowed to leave um, with. Uh, oh, actually, sorry, we forgot something. There was actually party combat in which the um, Chewbacca. Our Wookiee our Wookie Jedi Gar um, actually um, <laughs> saw, it. saw saw what was happening, and there was actually player combat between the Wookiee Jedi Gar Stupid and shit. Rin and Rael and Posh. Uh, and at that point, also, Kieran and Valcro actually used an escape pod to go down to the Jedi Temple. Before the theft, well, before that conflict happened. Yeah. Yeah, you exactly. guys run the escape pod. So, where we start right now is you guys are going, you guys have been just been cleared. The uh, force shield has gone down, and you have gone out of the, the main capital ship uh, where Admiral Statora was. And at that point, you're free to go wherever you wish. Gar is still in a crate in the back 
of the Star Kraken. Am I correct about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And we tried to get the we would we would want it the Ewoks as well. Uh, that's true. And because your goodwill had been restored, the Ewoks were on board as well. Okay, right. my so, next over there too. So we have all of his oh, yes. all of his well. stuff, right, yes. sitting off to the side, and we open the crate. He's also in restraints too. Oh man! And I'm like, well, because we put him in restraints, they put him in the crate. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all right. We did stun him to unconsciousness, and then we restrained him. Then they put him in the crate. Yeah, we did not put him in the crate. So but just for the record, I'm going to just very nonchalantly have my blaster rifle. Oh man! That's stun. <laughs> you just never know. It's never <laughs> wise. That's you stun. wake up. It's never wise. Never wise. You're never wise in the walking. main room in uh, in the Star Kraken, the <laughs> the, the room where that. Um, the game table is, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know where I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. And at that point, uh, you you're so still. I, so I, I turn. Uh, yeah. yeah, I turn. They're behind his back, by the way. Um, <laughs> look, I'm standing Gar, behind evil. I want to take those restraints off you and give you your stuff back, but you have to promise not to rip anybody's <laughs> arms off. <laughs> your Ewoks are here. They're fine. We got your Ewok friends. They're all happy. Look at them. Ewok. <laughs> Stands. And, uh, and then we want to take those restraints off you and we, and we want to talk this whole thing out. But he's really trigger happy. <laughs> I happen to like my arms. I've already lost part of my leg, too. I'd rather not lose these as well. Are you going to try and rip off anybody's arms or attack us if we take the restraints off you? No Seriously. promises. No hard <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think he wants to go back in the box. <laughs> Do you want us to put you back in the crate? You no, don't understand wait, wait, what you Actually, done. one thing that's interesting, as soon as he answers that question, mm -hmm. the Ewoks shift, right? So the Ewoks have been completely uh, calm, and mm. as soon as you speak... Right, and they see that you're, um, that you're, and they, they even didn't understand about the shackles, but they immediately began whispering, and at this point, they're, but not they look, look yucky, yucky, yucky. worried. <laughs> yes, there is a lot of yub yub, and they definitely will look worried. Right, I'm like, look, you're, you're upsetting yeah. the Ewoks. They're, 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 they're getting scared. We don't want them to be afraid. <coughs> Gar, look, this and, and what really do you mean? wasn't personal. What do you mean we don't understand? So at that understand point, what? you two need, uh, actually, uh, all three of you can. Uh, use weapons, and I will just remind you that any droid that might be on the ship, it may be there for you if you wish. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, all, the three of you, I need perception rolls, and uh, you are going to put two two challenge um, two difficulty dice. We need our pool, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, we our pool. Wait, why are we? Yeah. Who's doing? Who's right. rolling? Uh, uh, it's perception. You are. Yeah, roll yeah, this first. We gotta roll our force dice Hold first, right? Well, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Destiny pool. Do we? Do we roll more if we have five? Uh, oh, wait, he's got a good point. Let's do our destiny pool yeah, right destiny now. Pool. So if everybody would, I rolled roll one, one dark, dust. but for having a 90 morality, doesn't that go to one, one. light? Yeah, you get that's one light. Okay, all right. So, so wait, is really that one dark one? and one light? We roll one. Oh. No, because I... It goes to... Oh, wouldn't I get two? No, 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 Help, okay. Well, once you get over 90, then you add two. But right now, you had a dark, but your morality gives you a light on that. Yeah, and, yeah, and so the dark is not there. That was no. He has right. a dark and a light. Oh right, if that's what, okay. Wait, why do Got I it. add a dark? Because you add a light you, too. You add a light because you rolled a dark. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought ahead, it canceled each other. Out. Dark. All right. What do you got? Hold on. Right. What do you have? A light. I have a dark. All right. I have two light. And two light. Okay. So we have a pool of seven with uh, four light and three dark. Uh, I need perception rolls from you, you, and you. Okay. <laughs> so you're difficulty. you're gonna two difficulty and one. Um, and one setback. So difficulty is blue. Is purple. Purple. And the setback are black. One black, and then... That's it. That's it. So one black and one difficulty? Yeah. Yeah, so and then it's P9. perceptions, my cunning. Look at things that help with perception. So I have three, P9. and I've got one, two, so I use two perception. yellows, and one... Is there anything so that would off. trigger my olfactory? Um, yeah, yeah, I'll, in fact... So that gives me a boost. Yeah, I'm going to give you a boost, okay. absolutely. So does that can totally cancel right? each other out? That's a total uh, purple and the black, and then I'm at a goose egg. Hunting because it's perception. I've got two ranks, so instead of three Thanks greens, I have two yellows that. and a green. Yeah, you're fine. It looks oh, yeah, like I mean, you got all, one all failure, right? Based no, I didn't roll yeah. yet. These, oh. and then your skills upgrade now them. And then difficulty is So you got one advantage and two failure. By the way, I, I've got three advantage and a success. I'm at a goose right, egg. So, so wait. So right out of the gate, you and you have a person that you have fought with back to back before previously, 
Uh, and you're having a, a, a conversation about letting him out of a crate. That's too strain <laughs> for okay. both of you two. Not me? Uh, no, 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 not, not you. Good. Those two. Is my uh, stream back to full yet? I don't uh, know. I will, uh, since, you, since you've been sleeping, you can get your, sh your cool plus three. And then where is your strain? Tell me where your strain is three. after that. It w um, so it's just three? Yeah. Oh, where was your, sh where was your current strain? Max, it was he, he was stunned. He, he was stunned out. Oh, right. So, okay, so it's four now. So it's okay. one, four plus three. And as soon as you turn and you see that the, that the Ewok, you see the Ewoks, that's going to be another two. So you're at six. Right. So okay. I was at six before we started. Right. Should I start at six? Uh, there's no time has passed. Yeah, that's my assumption. Right. That's yeah. fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the okay. Strain so did right anyone? Now. Did anyone pass their? Um, uh, so I got a success so and three failure. advantages. All right, you can use that to bring up your strain if you want. You got a success and three advantage. Yeah. The three is a critical. Okay, um, and so uh, one. Um, this is kind of a, you know, you're just getting information. If you don't want to use a critical on that and bring up your strain, you can do that. Uh, it's up to you. All right. Uh, you know, I used a critical. Okay. All right. So actually, at this point, uh, you, you're the only one who got the success, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you realize that the Ewoks are starting to look for weapons uh. in the room, right? Uh, and act, actually, that they goodness. are highly agitated. Um, and that Wongru, um, <coughs> also, you can tell that Wongru is confused. And the reason why is Wongru is trying to summon the Force. Oh. Because he's... <laughs> He's having brain aneurysms. Yeah, because he's been a shaman for a long time, yeah. and he's he's trying, and he he's trying to, and actually, he did have, he was able to do certain things uh, as a shaman, um, mostly reassure those around him. So this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be Gar, talk down the Ewoks, or they're going to fight, and they will get hurt. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do as you as you say. Um, <laughs> can I take control of one of the Ewoks and have him That's go stand in between David and and Bart? That's fantastic. Three XP, all right. And uh, and by the way, your answer was brilliant. I'm giving three XP there. Heck yes. Um, and I'm gonna give one XP to you too because you jumped right in and dealt and dealt with the issue right away and and tried to bring him out as quickly as possible. So so first of all, yeah. guard, talk down the Ewoks. Yeah, no I don't want to kill Ewoks here. Right, so one of the Ewoks <laughs> has walked over. And by I will. the way, uh, oh yeah, and. <laughs> I had no problem killing furballs. Just, I'd rather not. So if you can do something about this, they are on my ship. Uh, Yeru is the Ewok you're okay. controlling. <coughs> so you come forward with Yeru, and one, he, you know, um, and actually, uh, here's a question. Are there weapons here in this room? Do you guys keep, they like, your crates. You know, blasters on the wall? <laughs> is he a hard gun? That's yeah, I would say there's probably an assassin. There's yeah. probably there, there's, yeah, there's my weapons, which are too big for them to even pick up. All right, so <laughs> they're dragging there them along. A, there is a blaster in the room if you want to pick it up before you go over. Yeah, this right. this, this guy yeah, is good. willing to just yeah. stand there. Yeah. So Yeru uh, walks over and he's and, and actually you can see that the the Ewoks are actually kind of getting themselves psyched up to fight. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying to guard, no no violence. You know, it's close quarters. I don't want damage to my ship. I don't want damage to your Ewoks. You know, we just went through a lot of trouble to get these guys and safe. You. Okay, I'm going to do a little whistle, and I'm going to have my two Nexu calm them down. Oh, man. <laughs> You're uh, to try to calm the, um, the Ewoks, the Ewoks down. down. Yeah. Okay. All right, so the next two come in. <clears throat> And they and one of them just kind of flops onto his back and starts rolling around, right? And the and the Ewoks do they see right? And one of the Ewoks goes over and starts rubbing the Nexus belly, and it starts to go down. So right? I'm going to step I'm gonna up, go rub its belly too, and be like, "See, this is so much more fun." <laughs> I'm oh. going to step up and reach behind the Wookie. I'll give one XP for that. <laughs> and reach right. behind the Wookie, and you know, just before I un unhook him, I'm like, "What do you mean we don't understand?" And <laughs> snap. The, uh, the 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 restraints come off. All right. Okay. So he has freed you. Go ahead. Leia's intentions were not good for the holocron. That's all I'm gonna say. So you're Leia's not gonna rip out my arms. Leia's intentions for our ship were even worse. <laughs> He's got a point. Well, let's see. Having a dark spirit summoned, or having your ship ripped apart. What are you talking about, dark spirits? That's what she was going to use the holocron for. Silly Jedi things again. Leia Organa would not do that. She's the head of the rebellion. Hey, that's impossible. The death of your son can be can change you. 
Think about it. So now she's gonna just go randomly grabbing dark spirits to the re resurrect. Can she even do that? Can, it's, it's her can, son. Can they even do that? I don't know. I look at the Ewoks. Can they do that? <laughs> These people that silly religion. <laughs> like, <laughs> <"Num, num, num." laughs> Like, okay, so you're not gonna rip out our arms. <laughs> now what are we doing, guys? Well, we have to return the Jedi yeah, I guess we should and the Ewoks to the to the surface to yeah, these Jedi. And let's get so. off the ship as soon as we can. We can't. We got to get away from the rebellion and stay away from them. Yeah. Oh, now I need to clear this up. Okay. Believe it or not, your actions. You have fine goodwill well, with the good, rebellion. Yeah, we're at this good point. With, with the resistance. You trust them? They just no. we're on a ship. I don't trust them. They were ordered to. Yeah. No, it's, that's you're, that's a great point. Yeah, you're, that's a great point. Uh, I'm like, look, yeah. you know, she could see. go through men, men, she could get menstrual again. There's no telling what could happen. Our ship will end up in pieces. I think that I'm not having is, that. I think that so ship is long at failed. this point. <laughs> um, you are you are returning. You are starting to head toward the Jedi Temple. Yeah. All right. Okay. One. Uh, for for aiding me, I'm gonna give uh, one. Uh, you guys weren't in. I'm gonna give you one XP just for oh, watching okay. that. The rest of you guys get three XP for that. And uh, Dave, points. for for heading toward the Jedi Temple, I'm gonna give another XP for that. Uh, you guys start to head down toward the temple. You guys and now um, one of the things I will say is it, he were trying to communicate to them that uh, General Leia Organa's intent with the Holocron is to restore Kylo Ren as a force spirit, the same way that uh, Yoda exists as a force spirit, Anakin exists as a force spirit. That Obi stuff's not common existed. knowledge though, right? Like uh, that you're, It is not common knowledge, but you have been dealing with it with a Jedi for a while, and so has he. So well, it is that. common knowledge to Yeah, him. but he we didn't, he, he, yeah, to them, yeah. I mean to us, it's not common we knew knowledge. That's why he was starting to explain that she it. had bad intentions, which is why before we left, I told her, <coughs> prove me wrong, or don't, of, uh, don't make me wrong or something. That is true. You yeah. did say that. I'll say, yeah. Don't prove me wrong. <laughs> Never correct her again. That's I the don't know, shit. I don't know it what out. the the you know the the power of force spirits are, but oh, I know for a fact that Obi Wan died on the Death Star, appeared in Dagobah, and appeared in Endor. Yoda mm -hmm. died in too. Dagobah, appeared in mm. Endor. And you know, Anakin you you know, technically died as Darth Vader on the Death Star, and and showed up in Endor. Died so I, I'm, Endor. no, he died. I, I'm, yeah, he died in I'm gonna gather that Force he spirits did, really died. have the ability oh, no. to he go in the system. He died in the system. Uh, it's probably anywhere the Force is. Really so, died before Luke so down or not. as I was, you know, sure started my initial training death with Luke. Do I know of or ever encountered I just four spirits? Last Sunday. Okay. That's how. And how you would actually go about talking to them? Should, should I? Should you know? Well, that's a great question. So let's do this. All right. So one, uh, I'm going to give you an XP just for those questions. All right, and let's do this. You, uh, you guys are bringing the Star Kraken down onto Coruscant, and exactly on the same type of pad that uh, that Padme Amidala. Um, landed that uh, new uh, Naboo cruiser, Nubian, right? yeah, right, Nubian, Nubian cruiser. cruiser. Um, uh, you guys remember that, you yeah. know, like that. You guys are right now walking, walking on yeah, the a ten really foot, does. like a ten foot walkway from the temple to it where is. their ship is coming down, and you and Diala Pasil are discussing exactly the question you just said, and so uh, she said. Um, the power of a force spirit is significant. We know for a fact that Obi-Wan was critical in the destruction of the Death Star. We know for a fact that Obi-Wan even helped to train a Jedi. That to me is probably one of the most dangerous situations. If General Leia Organa were to uh, bring forward Kylo Ren as a force spirit, it would establish multiple problems. One, uh, that has never been, oh, and then she actually stops. On she stops, right? And there's a, there's a wind kind of whipping her her robes around, right? And there's like you know she, you know those uh, those hovering uh, vehicles that come all over Coruscant. And they're like zipping around you guys. And she goes, she says, um, I was just about to say that she if she restored that dark side force users, he's not a Sith. We don't know if the Sith still exist would have access to force spirits. And I was about to tell you how bad that would be for force users overall. 
but perhaps the fact that dark force users have never had a force spirit is that an imbalance in the force? Well, the three right, Tuscan tentacles restoring the balance once the, again. The balance of the force is something that you know, throughout the ages people people seek, but isn't a balance an equal where where both sides are on the same? Whereas what historically has talked about as a balance is really seeking quite the opposite. Mm. So are we really seeking a balance or are we seeking the eradication of our antithesis? Well, I believe we cannot, I personally believe, we can never defeat the lost, the last dark force user. We should never defeat the last force user, a uh, dark force user. And the reason why is I think there has to be a balance and I think there should always be more on the light side. But for one, we should never take the last life of anything. I mean, didn't you guys, didn't you just work very hard to make sure that that did not happen with the Ewoks? Indeed. Yes. So, you know, and so at that point she begins walking and she says, I truly do not know if we should try to stop General Leia Organa. And the reason why is, one, there is this question of balance. If it, w if it would give any more balance, you're saying that you think that would not be wise, correct? It, it, all I put forth was the, the mere concept of what, what is the balance considered? And throughout the ages, that definition has changed. Well, I believe that the balance of dark and light side force users is that there should be both. Um, but there should always be more light side users, and the reason why is generally dark side users are far more powerful than us. So, the, uh, and the reason why is their their power comes more easily. Um, she said the other issue that I have is, you know that I know, and at this point she looks at you and says, "Oh, I'm there." Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, sorry about that. She says, "I know the actions you took against Poe Dameron." I do feel that you took the wrong actions, but I also understand that when you are in a situation where life and death is imminent, that you must make act uh, make decisions quickly. So I will not um, I will not question your actions now. I do think we should discuss that at a later time. But I well, will ask as, as to the question of of the spirits. I, I don't know because of your holocron, because of whatever training either of you have. Let me let me put forth this. You know, we feel, or I, as you say, that there has never been a dark side spirit that has been confirmed in existence. What is the chances that, at its core, it's not possible? What what about, you know, we, we know the existence of of Anakin, and what he came. <coughs> Did he become a light side spirit? because of who he was at one point in time? Or did he become a light side spirit because he was redeemed? I believe mm. he was a light side spirit because he was redeemed. Your thoughts, Karen? Well, yeah, that's my thoughts exactly. That yeah. he redeems himself before he died. But, but what without, without evidence to support one way or the other, what if what what if the spirit itself drives to the core and the core of Anakin Skywalker was always what he was like what what if his core even despite all the things that he did leading up to the events of Darth Vader and his time as Darth Vader Luke Luke said or at least so so his stories to me say that he he told him I sense the good in you yeah, I, mean, I, I trained with Luke. He, you know, so he, what you're saying is, I, I think the logical extension of what you're saying is that it is quite possible that a dark side force user could be raised as a force spirit because we've already seen someone who has spent the majority of their life as a as a Sith. What I'm what I'm saying is, I personally don't know what the core of Kylo Ren is, but at one point in time, he was a son loved by by his parents. And that should he come back, could he come back as a light side spirit? Because at one point in time, he was good. 
He was loved by his parents. He was trained by Luke Skywalker. And at that point in time, Luke, being the most powerful uh, Jedi among us, did not say, oh, this is a this is a dark being. I cannot train him. Wow. I well, did not even understand where you were heading. You were saying that if he is raised as a Force spirit, he may be raised as a good Force. He may be good as a Force spirit. It is possible that only good spirits may come forth. Well, I, with, one... Without, without evidence to... To the contrary, that that is a likely possibility. It is also equally possible that his life force is joined with the cosmic force already and may already be beyond retrieval. He has only recently passed, but the question is how long does it take for the life force of one to enter into the cosmic force? That that does beg another question. All right, so one, I'm giving three XP for what you just said because it had not occurred to me as a game master <laughs> that that was even possible, right? That him, that him brought forward as a force, you as, as a force spirit, he may not actually be evil. That is a brilliant idea from you, Ted. Um, yeah, and fantastic. Okay, so she, she, she is saying, um, I am very glad that you both have. Um, have come forward to serve the Jedi Temple. I truly needed, I, I, it was not clear to me how much I needed your wisdom. And uh, just so you're aware, there are three ships coming now. Uh, they are actually converging, rendezvousing within the um, within the, uh, the mid-rim, um, where we have three force emergent coming in from the outer rim, mm. two from the mid-rim, and um, they are actually bringing uh, two from the middle to go all the way out so we can bring them all in together. So that is a total of seven additional um, force emergent that we will take on as Padawans. Mm. You will each be given one, uh, and then I will handle the other five. Um, and uh, we have a lot to think on. We really need to consider uh, what what we will do about General Leia Organa. And at that point, well, it, well go before ahead. we land, it means a lot that she would entrust us with Padawans when we have, I can't say we've proven ourselves yet, and we will endeavor to make sure that trust is not misplaced. Thank you. Uh, two XP to both of you. Well, extremely well done. Go ahead. Before we land, clones, common knowledge? Uh, yes, at this point it is common knowledge <laughs> that clones were used in the Clone Wars. Absolutely. Glar. I know you're quite fond of the little, little fuzzballs. I am very fond Camino of them. Their species balls. is going to die. There's nothing you can do. You cannot propagate a species from six members. Is that how many there are left? Well, there's, there's eight. a male and a female. There's eight. <laughs> no, but it would lack like, like sufficient genetic uh -huh. diversity. Yeah, it would I die out. What you're I don't know. <laughs> but they cloned, they cloned back in the war. Mm. What if we can find the ones that did the cloning and we can bring back the Ewoks? I like that idea. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cloning Ewoks. Can I All make right. it like a core world or a lore check to see if I know <coughs> who actually used to do the cloning? Yes, you absolutely may. Two XP. Sweet. That's really I have a good quick idea. question. How far are we away from arriving to our destination? You guys actually have. You're seeing the Jedi Temple, like oh, in the okay. yeah. Incoming. Yeah. I was. Uh, was there something? Now you had some time. Was there something you wanted to accomplish? I was going to do a workout session with the Ewoks. We we're going to do some yeah. push-ups. You would have time for that. What's absolutely. Because the, uh, yeah. they got to be strong. Yeah. So that's already done. What's the name uh, of the By the way, we uh, you're going to get three Zaydram. three Zaydram. strain back from that. You know, uh, and uh, and you are able to calm the Ewoks down. They are much much more calm so, now. How difficult is this question. Uh, oh yeah, this is a three difficulty. That's so I would have three, three purple, right? Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, did you want to use one yes, of those? Yes, actually yeah. I do. I want to use one light? of these to turn. So turn one of those yellow, and then you can make the roll again. This? That's fine. But I didn't roll it yet. It's yeah. just building. How come he flipped one to a bad guy? I'm, I'm oh wait, never mind. It's always yeah, supposed I don't to know. Stop. I didn't. Yeah, he's got it. I got it. Relax. <laughs> the, the dice are there. You should. You can <laughs> right now. Excuse me. All right. He's got it. <laughs> All right. I am flush. Uh, <laughs> no. How does that work? Is there one success? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. yeah. Yeah, so I'm flush. Not, oh, okay, I, yes. Yeah, flush. Nothing. All, All right. right. So you are. Um, you do not know. All right. Um, but that was a great idea. I'm going to give one XP for that. So um, wanna, and go ahead. Um, I want to put forth the the idea uh, to Dahlia. Uh, you know, I think our greatest greatest issue to deal with right now is Zade. 
because we we know what she was attempting to do and what she was trying to enact by doing so. Well, so if she's not going to be able to take out the Ewoks, what what other great travesties could she could she go forth with? And I, I think you know she's gonna she's gonna try and be as powerful as Kylo Ren. And I think she's our greatest greatest threat at the moment. Wow. There might uh, be another objective she's going after. I learned about on the Holocron. I am now missing, unfortunately. Rusan. We'll, we'll get into that later. Ah, uh, I have heard of Rusan. We should discuss that in detail. Excellent. Okay. So at that point, Star Kraken comes down. You guys are walking up. Star Kraken lands. Oh. The the um, right. you know you guys start come down the classic. Um, Star Kraken uh, YT-1300 ramp. I, right? I recommend to my partner at Tusks and Tentacles to leave his weapons behind. Uh, How are you geared? Uh, well, I would normally have my blaster rifle. So I need to know everything, exactly everything. how you're I'll geared. I'll leave the flamethrower. Oh, <laughs> I think you should leave it all. So what? Why? I never leave it. They can't. Look, they're Jedi. If we're unarmed, they probably won't cut us down. Whatever. I'm a Wookiee. I won't cut you. I might rip your arms off, but I won't cut you. <laughs> what weapons so, do you have? Gar, if I leave this blaster rifle here, mm -hmm. are you going to keep that crazy guy from doing something to me? Which crazy guy? I don't Any know. Kieran. 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 Kieran's Kieran. <laughs> um, I, mean, I, come I, on, I, can, I can try, but I could also fake being weak. You never know. You're a Wookiee. You can't <laughs> fake being weak. I mean, it's... A, it's possible. <laughs> I don't think your deception is that high. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so. I'll take you at your word as a Wookiee that you're gonna, that you're not going to let him kill me. He won't, I won't let him kill you. <laughs> okay, now I'll leave my. We, uh, uh, we change the security That's on the Star Kraken before we yeah, before we depart and lock it up behind us. Yep. Uh, two XP. That was extremely well done. Yeah. Uh, persuading a character and two XP for accepting. That was. Uh, I'm I'm quite surprised. I right, have the this... guarantee from a Wookiee that he's not going to let any harm come to me. No, no, so, no, no. I didn't say no harm. I said would, I wouldn't let him kill me. <laughs> oh, well, okay, okay. <laughs> at this point, well, what well, you're looking at my statement. is the classic Lando Calrissian Han Solo approach. <laughs> you guys are coming off uh, off of the you know, YT-1300. There's what? someone approaching, it's and gonna be there's just... a lot of tension between the groups. It's going to be just like Lando Calrissian. Boy, you got a lot of balls coming here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Me? Well, we had no choice. You got our mechanic. We got your Wookie. Hey, and you know, let me get this. Friends behind me. Let me get this straight. You stole my holocron for a ship. We didn't steal your holocron. Come on, man. Right after that tussle, it went missing. It's this big. I felt it. I, I felt its weight gone. I didn't take it. Did you take it? I may have given it to Lay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So that's oh. a that is a game mechanic. Let's do it here. Oh wait, did you just say you? Yeah, yeah. I may have given you... it to Lay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that the, the, well, the jig uh, is up. Right. Well, now, that that was out of the bag. My my, my job <laughs> is has always been <laughs> to keep like, this from developing me, like, mediator <laughs> and and middle of the road guy. So be it in between these two or, or in between <laughs> these two, uh, I am I am always willing to get, there get into the middle. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to put forth. R remember our, our conversation with Dahlia. The Force works in in strange ways. Uh, un until right. until it comes to the point that is a problem, there is no need for for violence here. Look, Kieran, I'm, I'm sorry about your holocron. We don't have it anymore. We Where'd were over a barrel. Where'd it go? Leia's got it. Yeah, and she told me she wasn't going to make me regret that, so... I, I pat him on the back. I'm like, I tried to stop him. I, the the Wookiee like, still did like, try to stop, like, like, stop, like, stop him on the yeah. way to getting the she's Ewoks. Here. And she's like, oh, man. And she hears that, that she has it. And then they me in a box. Remember? What they brought Completely unarmed. Remember our conversation. We don't know. They are on thin <coughs> ice. I saved their asses on Surya. I saved their asses in the dogfight. I covered for him with Leia Organa, and this is how I'm repaid. Covered He's got a strange me. memory. I know. Uh, you let oh. us into the rebel trap. What uh, trap? We, 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 we were, were invited back. No one was trying to kill me on that godforsaken planet. They were trying to kill the Ewoks. Let's, I was fine. Well, he, well he, I saved him. Okay. Saved him. So maybe he did save you guys. Well, yeah, we did go down like a sack he, of potatoes. He did, so, okay. Well, it's not my but fault. on a Jedi mission. I Hello. know. We were helping We you. weren't even paid to do that. Speaking of being paid. 
They are on thin ice. You don't. Don't, All right. don't kill him, but you can beat the crap out of him. I'm okay. You, you I, can give, I, can give, I can give him a broken nose. <laughs> Do That's it. okay. Do it. Is that okay with you? <laughs> you, you have to, to remember. You, you yourself have spent quite, quite a, a large amount of time traveling the stars. The the ship is more than just a pile of parts and mechanics. But what's but what's more important? The ship. Or your allies. Let's put it this they way. They have proven the through their actions. The ship is our ally. The well, no. ship is my ally. Well, wait, actually, a, this is completely valid. Go well, on. Now, bounty on my well, head. They've just proven through their actions that they value that ship more than me. Was no, there a question? That they they value the ship <laughs> more than you having. Oh, that. there we go. <laughs> Absolutely. Was there a question? The Star Kraken has seen us through many a tough time. We've just met you. It keeps me out of the hut's hands. I'm gonna have to go with the Star Kraken. Again, thin ice. They came here unarmed. They brought back the. They brought back Gar. And the orcs. Okay. So we're good then. That's uh, in, right? No. Sounds like. We're no, good. not good. You're not getting killed. So we're good. Uh, so Diala <laughs> Pasil says, "Are you still part of Tuscan Tentacles?" Of course you are. Um, Val Valcro. She, uh, she completely ignores his answer. <laughs> Looking directly into your eyes for your answer. What kind of a question is that? Yeah, I look at him expectantly because I'm, uh, I'm a little... She says, uh, uh, before, before you answer that, it seems that Tuscan Tentacles stole a Jedi holocron and gave it to a bereft Force user mm -hmm. who intends to use it to bring forward another dark what? force user. What is she? Or bring forward kind of, a dark force user. What kind of force that's user is she? This is completely out of context. That's what I got too. <laughs> we, completely out of context. The, these, these men are, are my, my steadfast allies. I've, I've traveled with them for quite a long time. Behind the Wookiee's back, I'm going to give her a high five. <laughs> <laughs> I've I I pledged my allegiance to, to the Jedi Order, but I still feel that my, my friends have the ability to aid us all. Scum! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go on. Oh. Really? Is it a high lie? And, high and mighty Jedi. A, especially... Um, where's your character? Name? Rael. Rael. I'm does not believe in our in our ways. Does not believe in the Force, despite its... I don't know. I watched Kieran change his allegiance pretty fast on that ship. Wow. Went from uh, being on the general's side and and uh, Santara's side to the Jedi's like that. That took like zero time at all. Did I not say I wanted to go to the Jedi Temple? And we were escorting you to the Jedi Temple, but you decided yeah, to go man. somewhere else instead. You decided to steal my shit taken apart. But Wait, I, Ray, he you're not believe, suggesting not, Valcro wouldn't. You're not. Nah. Does not, does not believe in in our ways in in the Force, despite its very existence in his fate in front of him. Um, but they they are allies. I believe that they, they have the ability to to aid us in our mission. Hmm, that is most interesting. Well, to aid, wait to aid us, us in our in mission. Our mission. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. Um, Have, and did, did the did the Jedi not employ others? That is more than enough. So at this point, she says, Lando. please, this way. And she begins leading the whole pack back to the Jedi Temple. So she says, uh, and, and she actually starts to ask you guys, she says, so we do need to decide what our mission is at this point. I have the authority as a Jedi Master to task both you and you. As we've come here, I've seen that you have already learned much in the Force. Um, so at this point, you guys are talking about... <laughs> no, no, you don't care. No, he said uh, too. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you. Um, All right, so she says, oh, and actually she says, it is good to see you brought back Can I give him one of my XP for being left um, And she says, are you okay? <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know, man. He's walking. Well, what, what did occur? Well, does he have the highest force rating here? Yes, he does. Yes. <laughs> By far. No, I mean including her over her. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the highest morale. Well, I tried to do the right thing. That didn't work out. I don't agree. Uh, she says, hmm. Well, I think what we need to decide is he has the right of it. We need to decide what we are going to do next, and then we need to decide if tusks and tentacles will be a part of that. Um, uh -huh. I believe there are... Go ahead. I, I, I will, again... Put forth. I think our, the the greatest threat for us to deal with is Zade. Zade, you uh you do not lack courage at all, Valcro. 
Um, my concern. Uh, so uh, she says, we um, right now, oh, and by the way, you guys all saw this. Right now, state tour, so there was a debate over whether they, so it has already been found out that um, that the last, the, the, a large remnant of of the um, of the resist of the first order, the large remnant of the first order is on Hoth. The, in fact, ninety to ninety five percent of all of their men and all their ships are there. Okay, Why and she says, which means there's a high probability that. So, she says, now I actually think it's very unwise for Admiral Statora to take the current fleet in against. The resistance, and the reason why, is often a foe can be most dangerous when it is on the run, um, and specifically when it has been backed into a corner and it has. Well, and that, it has is, that, lost. Is when, that is like when a wing womp rat. Yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> that is when an animal will, will fight its fiercest. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so she says. So I, I really believe it very well may, and also we do not have our largest contingents here and are not going to be able to bring them on in to bear in time. Even so, Admiral State Tour right now, and you guys look up, you could see a stream of bright lights that are, that, you know, that you know are not stars, which are ships moving all over. They are bringing a huge amount of ships into position to jump toward Hoth. She says, um, if we were to go, my concern um, would be, okay, go ahead. I, I want to, uh, I don't know how this whole sense thing. No, uh, just on Epson. Uh, it's in every book. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's about the galaxy. Uh, it's on. Yeah. I just want to take a look at. Yeah, it. yeah, you're I'm, absolutely can right. I, can idea. I? Right there. I don't fully know. Am I able to use that to try and get an idea of Heaps. whether what the force thinks is this is this going to is this going to end well? Oh. Um. No, you don't. Okay. You're not nearly that okay. high yet. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So at that point. Um, she says, my concern is, I do think Zayd Ren very well may be there, but not Zayd Ren. I think all of the Knights of Ren will be there. And I think I think you guys struggled uh, when you dealt with Zayd Ren previously. Is that uh, not I, true, God? And what true. has changed since then with us? Well, I do think some things have changed. It does seem that... I can uh, tell you one thing, I got some bigger guns back on the ship. Equipment wasn't the issue against her, but I know you love <laughs> your gear. He's got good guns. Uh, so she says. So she says. Um, I. That seems like a lot. Uh, however, and also we have simply we have just been founded, uh, and also we have. Oh, I, actually, if we go and we fight Zaid Ren, I think we should not bring any of the new force emergence. Uh, that would be like bringing lambs to a slaughter. Do you not believe um. that is correct? I, I would I would agree with you, and as and as much I think you are needed here. Uh, you would tend to go to towards Zaid Ren without me. I mean, I, I can, don't. <laughs> as you as you being the master, I cannot tell you to to do anything that you do not wish. Um, but with you being in charge, I don't feel it's 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 worth the the risk. You, well, at that point, she says, well. I appreciate your intentions, but there's more to be done this day than to sit in a chair. <laughs> well, unfortunately, and, and uh, the reason why we are not sitting in the chair is because we felt there was something to do, and now you are the master, and indeed, not any of us. Okay, so at that point, um, uh, Gar, ask, she says, "Gar, oh yeah, go ahead." Can I ask an out of game question? Yeah, what happened to the Zabrak that was around? Uh, you are talking Clanute. <laughs> Correct? The, uh, the uh, Clanut Veritas. Veritas. That is an excellent question. So, at this point, you have not seen him since you've returned. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's good. It's a very good question, though. All right. So, she says, he is saying that we should go and try to engage <coughs> all of the Knights of Ren at Hoth going on a mission with the Resistance fleet that I think is doomed to fail. Are what is your this? opinion, Gar? Really? Hmm. You guys are there. Feel free to speak up. 
We're just making fun, funny faces, really, yeah. <laughs> at the suggestion I, I, of going against all the Knights of Ren. Yeah, but, uh, I'm kind well, of thinking to myself. I, like, I was not saying that like, Ren, we, I, I we need to, this bravado. And we need to go and against all of suicide them. Suicide mission ain't quite what I'm signing up but for. But they're all there. That's, just, yeah, yeah. Well, then, then that's clearly not a uh, not a viable option. Can we get another one? Oh, are you, are you going to say that to her? Ab absolutely. You know, we we encountered her as 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 this group, and. She basically made us put our tail between our legs and kept one? running. Now, mm, we've had a little bit of time oh, to idea. come into some of our own and gather some some new gear, but that's that oh. might not be enough to... And also, it is excellent that you have halted that, that line of conversation because also, General Leia Organa is leaving today. Uh, uh, I think within, the, within an hour or two. Oh, um, we're not going anywhere yeah, near yeah. her. And... Yeah. If she, you know, we she may want cool. to follow her and try to stop that from happening. Now, I actually think we may not want to. I, I was thinking that might not be the wisest, and the reason why. And she looks directly at you. Is I believe we would stop. We could easily stop her. We, the four, the three of us, perhaps even with Tuscan Tentacles' aid, could stop her. But know. it would be with her yeah. life by taking her life. I was going to say, at because what that cost? has been used as a solution yeah. previously. At yeah, what we're cost? kind of good with the general exactly. what, so. what? 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 What would that? What message would that be sending? Where would the Jedi Order stand at that point? Are the Jedi above outsourcing this activity? <laughs> uh, which one, Jedi Leia Organa? He, he's. He, or, I'm he, sorry. What he's saying General is. Leia Organa. What he's saying <laughs> is, are, are you willing to pay him to go kill her? <laughs> Oh, that is that, most that interesting. Is, that is the question he is asking. No, we, that is my point. We do not want to kill oh, uh, uh, yeah. one of the founders yeah. of the Resistance. Well, then in that case... And that is what I think would happen if we try to stop her. As, mm -hmm. over, over, over my life, I've always, I've always sought, sought balance in, in action and thought and deed. And it is, it is perhaps this, th this event occurrence, whether it be because one of them had the idea... Or because Leia prompted the action by the the my disassembling of of, <laughs> of, of, the, of our ship. I think you Jedi's just have to just trust in the Force. I think it's going to be okay. Well, that's good. And I want to hear what Gar has to say, but, <laughs> but I believe I have an objective that's well within our capabilities. Gar. Well, I don't think it would be smart to do the bombing runs like we've done on <clears throat> on other missions. Like when we were trying to defeat the the gigantic the you know, Star Killer base. Yeah, that uh, I can. It's okay. Go ahead. But if we could attack their base on Hoth from way out of the planet's orbit, so like as far out as possible, getting several shots on the on like the center of their base, hopefully exploding lots of stuff because explosions can be good when destroying things. Excellent. So you That's actually it. do believe. We should go with the fleet to where all the Knights of Ren are. Player lore question. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear the answer here. Well, depending on how far away we are, depend it would give, might give us enough time to get a few shots off and then book it, understood. because that might be the best of ideas. I have understood your answer. Thank because you. Because last I've heard, last I've seen, their ships are kind of fast. They are indeed. Yes, Is it? <coughs> no, no, no. Player question first: Is it common knowledge that the, when the uh, Rebel Alliance occupied Hoth, they erected a planet-wide shield to protect against bombardment? They did. <laughs> uh, they so did I think that. that plan's not going to work. Uh, uh, it actually, yeah, it's, uh, so it's it's actually, it, it, which goes to Diala's point. She really feels that the fleet that's being taken there is going to lose. Okay, no, another another player, another another player knowledge question. question. <laughs> um, wasn't it said somewhere that like the Light side users prefer to go against two to one whenever they've gone against the Sith. Exactly. So yeah. So I'll, I'll put. I'll you put you guys that. are gonna flip right. the numbers. <laughs> it's like so. all right. Well, there are there are three Jedi here, and our powerful allies, and against a single Knight of Ren, she sent us running. I I, I don't feel going against any more than that. Uh, anything more than utter suicide. So, All right, so go ahead. Well, what about that thing Poe used with uh, with the Kylo? Yeah, cannon. can't we can't we just shoot one of those off at, at shield? Shield. <laughs> Shields aren't invincible. 
Uh, that is an excellent. So that is an excellent question. So you shoot that a couple times. Any shield's coming down. Here's, you, the, here's the only issue. Boom. Did you from know? Your you own, have, wait, wait. Do you from have strain your own knowledge, the, you, do you have a strain of cost on the frame to fire that? Well, actually, yeah. and just from your own knowledge, you already know the answer to that. So one, yeah. the fleet is going to be leaving extremely soon. In order to get that barrier cannon, it took two weeks of Poe Dameron dealing with some of the sleaziest villains in the universe. And it destroyed the ship when he fired, and it absolutely destroyed the weapon. So the biggest mm. issue there is, it, while it <clears> might <throat> work, that. it would take weeks of time of you dealing with people like like Balatik, dozens of them, to get it. Well, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my problem. Yeah. All right, so so that it, that could be a solution, not in the time frame okay, you have. Fair enough. So yes, now, another objective that might be more feasible would be. They are on the men right now. They are licking their wounds. They've lost Kylo Ren the finalizer and now they're all trying to pull their resources somewhere we have the chance to, yeah we have the chance to go pursue other objectives that they might otherwise want to do now you non jedi can avert avert your ears <laughs> there is a planet called rusan and on that is a thing called the valley of the jedi there are there are at least 100 force users locked in a twilight you might say of the force I entirely would expect that they would eventually want to go there, harness those spirits for their own purpose, whereas we could just go there and release them into the cosmic force. Hmm. So at that point, one, I'm going to give two XP. That was a great, that was a that, great presentation. Is go that ahead. from something? I'm not familiar with um, Also Legends, but <laughs> am I right? Well, Kyle Katarn is confirmed in these Fantasy Flight games. Correct. Kyle Katarn went to the Valley of the Jedi in one of the Dark Forces games. Right, so, that's right. Exactly. And, and, he, fought, and yeah. he fought a Sith Inquisitor, which we've seen in Rebels. So he has got a good point. The source the books for FFG <laughs> have included quite a bit of the, um, so it's, of the material. It's, so they're essentially trapped spirits? Correct. Now, I would be able to know more if I had access to my holocron. Are you guys got holocron again? <laughs> Go ahead. We're, we're gonna have to hear about this for the rest of our lives. Wow. Go ahead. It's what like we married what this do guy. we know about those? Like, what will what will happen if we release them? That is unknown. However, I do know that if they harness them, they would turn them towards evil purposes. Say, making a manufacturing line of Darth of uh, dark side users. Okay. Who knows? Okay. Now, I will ask this question before my friends have the ability to. What is in it for them? I don't know. A line of dark side users kind of sounds like stable job, stable employment. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. or death. I really well, don't know. I, only, I, only, I was only concerned about us, Jedi. Uh, but, um, uh, Diala, so, Diala Pass is us. I, uh, so, at this point, all right, let's, we'll, we'll bring it in. So, you guys have been walking all along. At this point, she has gathered you in the Jedi Temple and brought you down into the areas where the Jedi would eat. Okay, and so and she has actually started to make food, and so she brings you know just kind of like food that was all um, that was. It's not highly prepared, but she oh, brings nice over food, bird. brings over um, drinks, and just gets, sits everybody down and, and begins to have everybody uh, talk through this. Okay. Hey, I got a question. I feel kind of bad about some of this stuff that's happened and these Ewoks and stuff. <laughs> Do you know where we can get more of them clones? We can clone some Ewoks. We can make Gaurat really happy. I have heard of cloning. You are correct that um, actually Master Obi-Wan dealt with clones. <coughs> um, he went to Kamino, where much of cloning was done. Uh, there, and I, to, from, from what I've learned within the holo, within va uh, data that's here in the Jedi Library, much of that equipment is still there on Kamino. Oh, I'll have a quick I, I, as he's saying that, I'm actually helping the Ewok sit down at the at the benches. I'm assuming nice. they're benches. Yeah. Uh, next Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. One XP. Go ahead. So uh, we know that Gar tried to awaken the Force um, in these Ewoks. I don't know how any of that works. Hey, what if they what if they inject some Wookie tier, some Wookie DNA into the cloning? Could he could he make uh, Force sensitive Ewoks? That's what you guys call it. Oh my Force gosh! Sensitive? I don't think that's how <laughs> DNA works. Oh, yeah, that's as he as he had said, how, oh, how, it, <laughs> how he doesn't know how it worked out. A tear rolled down my face. Uh, yeah, actually, she will say that. Uh, I would like to say that that is a um, is it in the um, a crazy idea, but I like it. I would be proved wrong. Uh, Master Obi Wan uh, did deal with uh, clones that have been actually committed it's to definitely not the core, right? by the Jedi Council themselves. Well, didn't they? So, didn't they say the something about you know? genetic manipulation 
And there was a there was a um, yes, sm- the small were absolutely the same. genetically I like manipulated. It. I like it. Right. So, Cause like, I, I don't know. I, I, Ted Ted knows that they were genetically manipulated so that they aged faster and had better stuff yeah. and you know only they they only, be uh, Ewoks. only Boba didn't have his stuff mm, modified. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely right. Go ahead. I don't know if it's core or the check is the same. Now grow. I have the name of the system. Oh yeah. yeah. Can I make the can I make a check absolutely. so I know where it is? Yeah. <laughs> well, so you can convert this so is a, one, you're this is at least ten years away from repopulating the So it was yeah. And it was two. Yeah. <laughs> you give it three different right. Multi, right? Um, so actually, but you know what? So get two. Uh, yeah, eye. you'll get two boost eye, and then yeah. And you can also convert if you want. Nah, I'm gonna hold okay. it, and then you lose three difficulty again. Yep. Good luck. Oh wait, you you forgot to convert. Oh, that's right. You yeah. I'm not going to. So that is a one fail. I fail. All right. So I, nah, well, but actually, it's not good. Well. I don't know where it is. You don't know any extra. Yeah. It's not hard to find Camino. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not difficult. Don't you get a note for like all of your knowledge? Right. they got to be able to figure out where Camino is yeah. somewhere around here. All right. So you don't have any additional information. You mean maybe ask an astrogator? Scott. Right. Yes. With all this talking yeah, about the cloning of Ewoks, I'm actually yeah. going to go to the Ewoks one by one and ask okay. them for their permission <laughs> in game to be, if, if, they, if, they, if they will be cloned. All right. So that's good. You're doing that. So we're going to we're gonna drop out of narrative. All right. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to summarize. There are four things on the table, four directions that you guys get to choose from. You can, one, go and try to stop General Leia Organa from from raising... I'll give them all to you, then you guys discuss and decide where you want to go. You can try to stop General Leia Organa from, uh, from making Kylo Ren a Force Spirit. You can go with Admiral Stator's fleet to where, the, where 90%, 90%, 90%, 95% of all of the First Order ships are on Hoth no, to fight with the fleet and to fight uh, the First Order's remaining fleet as well as all their ground troops and all the Knights of Ren. Okay? No, and also, I'm just going to point out, if you don't go there, Diala Pastilla said she thinks they already have a bad chance, right? Mm. Just, just putting that out there. Or go to Camino, where cloning equipment still works, and there is a new plan to clone Ewoks and maybe even give the Ewoks a new chance at being Force users. Okay? Or go to Rusan, where a hundred uh, where a hundred at least, at force least. One of, where a hundred force users, uh, which is actually a well, fabled area. Well there were yeah. a, well, there were a hundred light Jedi and untold number of right. And the one problem with his idea is you do not know where that is. Right, so that would be going out into. Well, I know where Rusan is. Like oh, point. Rusan! You're saying Rusan is a known system? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that's it's right fine. Here. You do. Then one you do. So you would be going to Rusan to see if you could free the Four Spirit. Yes. One of those options completely depends on the Ewoks, though. That's true. Uh, oh yeah, and you Ewoks. know what? So you're right. I will put that on the table. Ewoks are the people Ewoks. Too. So here's here's what you get. You get an idea that they do not have any idea what you're talking about as far as cloning, because they it, they just can't understand it, mm-hmm. right? But they all. But you also get the okay. idea that they trust you, and if you wish to do this, they trust that you're doing it in their best interest. Right. A- ask ask them if they want if they want to make more Ewoks. I'll do that. <laughs> the one girl gets a really they tell you they're already operation. working on that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make more Ewoks. <laughs> all right. So with that, that's the four directions you guys can head. Okay. You guys should decide. All right. Which as one far as I'm concerned, there's only two options: Camino or Rusan. Yeah. Dude, there's got to be some cool stuff in Camino. If they can clone living beings. I don't want to do have anything to do with the rebellion and the stuff to do with the Jedi is probably better for us. We, we haven't done well with that. We yeah, can't make but an army if of you guys go Ewoks. go to 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 Rusan, we're gonna mess something up. Make an army. We're gonna blow up the wrong thing. It's almost guaranteed. I'm okay with that. Whether we want to or not. But look, we can always go to Camino. Oh, yeah, see if they have right. cool stuff with Kraken, and then go to this place. Yeah, it's probably right on the way. Yeah. All right. Can we get Camino and Rusan trajectory? Well, Rusan yeah. is at 11p on up in the left hand corner. Camino, I'm still looking for. Um, oh wait, Rusan, Rusan oh, wow. was Kieran's uh, idea, right? Yeah. There. So he found Rusan. Rusan's idea. Uh, so yeah, Rusan uh, is at 11. <laughs> oh, and, and then <laughs> Camino, you're not sure where. It is. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Give a quick look. Yeah, you really have these things enough better here. Yeah. <laughs> if, if only they had structured the galaxy in, in a logical fashion, such as alphabetical order. Yeah, see if you guys can find Camino. Or they should just put an index in the back. I found Endor. 
Yeah, and so, way out there. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Tuscan Tentacles has already poured a lot of their blood into the Ewoks, so we might as well finish that one. There you go. That was a great idea, by the way. That was yeah. An excellent idea. I like it. And I'm kind of curious about how much profit can be into mixing the Force into Ewoks. Okay. There might be a market for that. Cloning? We can clone our own little minions. We no longer... Dude, we no longer have to go do the job. We can clone oh, things man. to go do the job for us. We can start our own syndicate. Once you get one successful enhanced right. Ewok, then you can clone uh, that we'll one, and it's just know. like, you got a lot of them, too. Dude, you don't want to make oh. a copy of a copy. That's Dude, I think I know yeah, why that only works it may not be on here. <laughs> And the reason it may not be on here is it was it was a, a hidden world. Uh, the they, the location mm. could not be found by Jocasta Nu. Now, after Bo Obi Wan came back, it would have been put into the Jedi ha Jedi Jedi Library or the Jedi Holocron. That's very um, good, Scott. One XP. Yeah. <laughs> if you were a Jedi, could I just three. make an activation? <laughs> yeah. Hang on, Scott. Can I just make an activation? Not my, line? not my line. His. <laughs> can I just make an application check to find Camino? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You, you guys can find Camino. That's not a. That's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's all, yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. We're spending so much time with the, in the book. Yeah. Right. Agreed. Okay. So with that, it sounds like you guys have decided to go to Camino. Correct. Okay. Well, I'll all go right. for either. All right. So at that point, um, I like the Ewoks. Well, so let me, let me put put this out bones. there. If we go to Camino first, are you guys willing to go to Rusan? Yeah. Yeah, we oh, do. All right. All right. Most I interesting. Uh, is most Can we talk about that later on? Four to five. Uh, or four to four to one. <laughs> you're, you're out. Uh, yeah. But you're yeah, going to yeah. take my sh oh, This is shit. mine. I, I guess it's two to one. Okay. okay. All right. Because so, I really don't care what they think. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is it's two to one. All right. And so at that point, you guys have decided together. So one, I'm going to give two XP across the board <laughs> for your for your decision. I am now um, halfway to my goal. And then at that point, Diala Diala actually you know begins packing <coughs> with you guys and starts to help you pack the Star Kraken. As you're going out for you, you, and you, she says, um, the, "The only reason I am allowing my three uh, my three Jedi to go is it is very clear to me, Gar, that you have a true um, a true caring for these Ewoks, and I do believe that your protection of them." save this entire race. I am. I think it is good that you are trying to finish what you have started. Uh, so that is most excellent. I wish you all the best. Thank you. I am also telling you now, um, I will be going with Admiral Statura to Hoth. And the reason why is... Um, yeah. The reason why is uh, they are going to absolutely need the, ho the help of whatever Jedi can be there. Are, so, are there anyone that you trust that can stay in a temple with the Padawans? The Padawans, uh, she says, unfortunately not. Uh, we are a brand new organization. Um, what we will, what will have to do is I will have to ask Admiral Statora to simply put a guard on the Jedi temple. I can solve so, that problem. Yes. Ewoks? I'll have my Nexu guard them. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. They're going to be far away from you. You're, you're not going to be able to keep giving them commands. <laughs> you come back, they'll be really content. No, actually, I uh, have animal animal David, animal bonds. <laughs> that you can absolutely leave them here. Uh, oh, and you you see through them. You are yeah. able to see through them. Yeah. yeah. What's the range on that? I don't think there is a range. You, you right. bond oh, with the them. Star Creaking was yeah. completely stopped before we left uh, the general ship, right? So there's uh -huh. no reason to like pilfer the. Is she the okay with that? She says yes. That is most. You get the box tank down and everything. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to them. I'm gonna. Give them, yeah. yeah. No, I if got you got a force yeah. rating of six, you could have a rancor as your animal bond. <laughs> Halfway there. Is there, a, <laughs> is there any kind it's of fifth? Like I know, Half your force like, there's, there's, you know, better armors and One stuff. One more, you could have. Uh, like, is there anything that's like Jedi armor that's two. better than yeah. Yeah. something I'm wearing? Absolutely. So, uh, actually, Mike. He is asking if there's better Jedi armor than what he is currently wearing. I'm wearing it. Exactly. Can you tell him what you have? Jedi Temple Guard armor. That there's, right. there's also Jedi Battle armor. Hang on, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll get it for you. So Roll the along. answer is Roll yes, along. and pretty much you guys are like, you know, it's kid in a candy shop. There's everything here. Um, in fact, even to the point where you, you I, I was going to say there are extra lightsabers. Did you want to take an I'm extra gonna ask, lightsaber? You know, I'm going to ask your boss. <laughs> no, I mean, there's, there are no blasters here. I don't blaster. I got a blaster. Is there like any really, blaster. like, 
non <laughs> like, else you might find. confining <laughs> gauntlets because I think so I can use gauntlets. At? Oh, there That's you weapons. go. Gauntlets. They're in there. Um, yeah. No, other way. You go. <clears throat> Jedi get all the cool stuff. Yeah. So you absolutely can take a pair, and uh, we'll, we'll keep moving, and you just choose what you want, because all the gear's there. And she does offer you guys to take an extra lightsaber if you need. And the only reason is she says, I had just been reading of Anakin Skywalker, and it was a major habit of him to lose his lightsaber. We have I'll take this Temple Guard 25 double. here. I'll take this Temple Guard double saber, then. There you go. Okay. All right. So at that point, uh, did you uh, did you wish to have an extra lightsaber? Because um, you, you don't even use one, right? No, I, I, have a, I have a light pike or whatever light they're pike, called. Exactly. Do you want to just keep that? I'll take a regular one. There's right. Portosis gauntlets in there. I'll right. take them. Those are the ones that work. And uh, Ted, right. what is your decision yeah. on uh, um, well, yes. I mean, what you have? Battle some of the well, of course you would keep what you have. The question is yeah. if you do, want to. Do they have the, the Kavdan power armor? <laughs> uh, is that. Yeah. Um, well, wait. Is that what is that heavier than what they use, though? It's. Well, first off, it's power armor. Right. Without, without a power source, it's encumbrance 12, if, if, if I'm not mistaken. Otherwise, it's 4. Because of the power suit. Yeah, actually, I don't think they would. They wouldn't have okay. used power armor as, right. well, as then, Jedi's. As I'm, if we were in the old Republic, maybe. Where would I? I'm wearing laminate armor. Mm -hmm. is, is the so it would the highest would be what he has, which is well, it's debatable between the battle armor and the temple guard armor. The temple guard armor has better you could defense. Choose either one of those. The battle armor has better soak. I don't. I don't know what the. Soak on what is? Uh, 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 laminate armor. It has no defense to soak base. Okay, so, so I would want the the Jedi armor, which would just on my defense. Yeah. Would I be able to get Cortosis? That's what he chose. You're probably better off going with things. What's that? Would I be able to get Cortosis gauntlet? Explain things? Explain to me what they do. And with Cortosis. Oh, they block. Yeah. They block lightsabers. It's, yeah. Yes. I kind of short circuit. Where would I write that down at? Uh, so under it'll, weapons. it'll be under back. weapons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cortosis right. was a real bitch. Um, so what that would do is, uh, and actually we won't even use it until until I'll give you the mechanics when we when we get there. Okay. So at that point, you guys are ahead. Um, so you guys get back in the ship. Uh, everything and uh, Diala wishes you guys well. And you guys look out and you're and you are a little worried as the as the ship backs out, right? And you're looking down well, on Diala. I can't, I can't can't leave yet. Okay, go ahead. May the force be with you. May the force be with you. I have something. That's excellent. That's on excellent. the way to the ship, I'm going to walk up to Torin, and I'm going to pat him on the back, and I'm going to say I'm sorry for what happened up there, and then I'm going to gesture to the ship up there. Uh, to Torin? Yeah, that's his name, right? Rin. Rin. Yeah. Rin. Rin. Why are you apologizing to him? He because I'm not happy with me. him still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll be piloting my own ship. Yeah. Yes, he will. Understood. Okay. <laughs> All right. So at the, uh, the only problem oh, wait, though, no, is, no, as no, you guys... Wait, hold on. Yeah. Could we have an ARC-170 fighter? An ARC-170, those are the old, larger ones, correct? The, yeah, they were using the uh, Clone Wars, you have them in your ship thing. They, uh, see, they, they do see three, that's why I'm asking. So you can, you could trade your current ship for an ARC-170, and it's gonna come up in a second, all right? So one, your request is queued, you'll see why in one minute. All right, so at this point, you got so you guys start to back out, right? And you're bringing you're backing out to Star Creek, and, and you're currently in your Jedi Starfighter, correct? Yes. All right. So you guys are backing out. Unless and, we and all three of you, right? The two of you are near the cockpit. You see this too, and you see you know Diala just standing there alone, and you're like, oh man, she's gonna go to Hoth, where all the Knights of Ren are, and you're you are definitely feel like like there's. Write it down. Uh, oh, you know, yeah. the no. somber low note music definitely comes Bef in. Before, <laughs> before, before this happens, yeah, so it's your there was not one. in any way, shape, or form that she was trying to convince us to go to Hoth, correct? No. No, no, because it sounded like she said that was a bad idea. Well, she really feels that everybody going to Hoth is going to die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, really, yeah. that's fully what, I, what I'm expecting. Hey, buddy. Good night, Teddy. Good night, son. Good night, Teddy. 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 So at that point, um, you guys are. Uh, thank you for helping with that. Encumbrance of three. Encumbrance of three. So at that point, you guys are heading are heading back. Cortosis, <laughs> rarity, hard points. See ya. <laughs> all right. So you guys are, are are heading out, and when you come out, all right, you are shocked because you come out from Coruscant, and the so sky is superior. filled. All right, and I will show you what it is filled with. Just write superior. All right, and uh, yeah, it is filled 
with I'll Admiral Sedontis. Yeah. Four thousand troops, swoop and artillery units. And, right, and these are to... these are troops in ships, right? And I'll show you the actual and you're gonna Admiral Graywell. Seven thousand troops, on infantry units. Any attack rolls. Admiral Keha. Four hundred and twenty troops, all in individual starfighter squadrons. Okay, and Is that Admiral. Four hundred squadrons or four hundred troops. Great question. I will show you right now. Admiral Greywell has two MC eighty star cruisers. These are um, what? Well, yeah, yeah, they're large ones. Yeah. That's what Admiral Akbar was on yeah. at the Battle of Endor. Uh, they they he, they have Admiral Greywell is also commanding four assault frigate Mark twos, and. Admiral Greywell is also commanding Assault Frigate Mark I, three of those. And on that, on those ships, are seven uh, are 7,000 infantry units. Target. Okay? And then, Admiral Keha, her complement is the, spider, the Starfighter Squadrons are 40, 40 B-Wings, um, 120 Y-Wings, 200 X wings and 60 A wings. Okay, and in addition to that, like there we go. Admiral Sedotis has 4,000 troops, all who are uh, specialized for swoops and artilleries. Um, Admiral Sedotis has two dreadnought heavy cruisers, three Marauder Corvettes. Uh, yeah, three DP-20 frigates, like uh, three Nebulon escort yeah. frigates, that, that's what they were looking at on at the end of yeah. um, um, Empire Strikes Back, and then uh, three CR-90 Corvettes. Were, that, were they made by Chevy? <laughs> 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 and, the only, and the ones that I, I'm calling out is uh, this is a CR-90 Corvette, this is a DP-20 frigate, and these are the Marauder Corvettes. Now you guys come out and you're like, holy crap. And everyone who has planeting, planets, uh, has piloting space, I need you to make a piloting space roll. Well, you told everybody to, to make a check, so. Uh, if, if I, I have it if I have a dot there, right? Yes. Yep. All right, so All right. where is it? Piloting space. space. So you have no ranks. Uh, difficulty? All right, you're, uh, you, it's going to be Where did one, you invest in one? I had to put, put one of these. Yeah. Right, space then. is my agility. Well, so is there, is there any difficulty? Uh, one. One difficulty. All right, uh, that's a success with a disadvantage. All right, okay. I have two successes with two advantages. All right, two successes. I have three um, successes. Three successes. Three right. successes. The guy three who's successes. afraid of space travel. Well, um, All right, two um, success and one <laughs> threat. All right. Uh, actually, skill. you take a strain. Oh, listen. All right. Every time. Go figure. Every time. All right. Health. Actually, make that be right. an, uh, uh, a success with an advantage. I forgot my. Credit. Okay, you have. Uh, so you can re you can get strain back if you have strain. Give it to me. Okay. okay. Uh, and then uh, the 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 ones where were threes were right here. Uh, you just had a scene that was kind of focused on you, so I'm going to go with Bart. All right, Bart. Oh dear. You realize this is all wrong, right? That they have this configured incorrect. That what should have happened is that Admiral Greywell should have had some of the capital ships, some of the large capital ships, should have had some of the starfighter squadrons, and should have had some of the mid-range ships, and that their their entire approach is wrong. Right, and that the configuration of their sh of the config the formation of their they have the right they have the right units their formations are 100 percent wrong, and it is absolutely going to hurt them when they go to Hoth. What do you do with that information? Oh wait wait wait! Before you answer, you also have dealt with Admiral Statora. If you start dealing with now, you're ready to go to Camino. You're ready to put the resistance behind you. But you know that if you bring this information, one, Admiral Stator loves you now. He will talk to you. But you also know every time you talk to Admiral Stator, he tried to recruit you into the resistance. And that your odds of getting away from not going to Hoth are going to lower if you don't just bug out and go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to kind of go. Huh. He puts the information the in the punch it. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Well, you, could, you, you know the same thing. Can you just... Nah, we're giving it to him. All right. Okay. Out so, of my hands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Red punch. Right. His hands are here. This is going to get there. messy. Okay. All right, C7, let's go to Camino. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. I'm sorry. Teeth against seven. All right. So at that point, yes. you guys. Uh, I was not biting on that one. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so at that point, you guys, uh, you know, actually literally punch it into hyperspace, zip, right? Okay. All right. And you, uh, you are heading out to Camino. Okay. Um, and uh, so at that point, do you guys, our, do we have our Padawans with us? No. Uh, no. no my next no, actually, it's a great question. In fact, what you heard I'm sorry, was that I'm... they had all been brought to the mid rim. Okay. And that they were going to be held there until, um, until Diala Pasil said, bring them in. And the reason why, she didn't want them going to go into the Jedi Temple alone, and she is headed to Hoth on an extremely poorly formed fleet, which looks like it's going in from I, I, have, all, I have all faith that regardless of, of how the mission goes, she will return. So, 100% certain. two sessions ago, you forced seven morality upon me. Given that <laughs> I've just knowingly consigned the entire resistance to probably death and destruction, can I get rid of that? Yes. Okay, good. I will get rid of all of that. <laughs> nice. yeah. You should have left you him with one. absolutely gotten rid of your morality. <laughs> no. He's already considered dark. Why does he need to get yeah. rid of this morality? I'm a bounty hunter. Yeah. I didn't no see why question. I got it. Uh, You're got already it. considered dark. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we haven't so. dealt with any of that stuff in a while, so. All right. So at that point, uh, at that point, you guys have, um, uh, you guys have uh, have punched it and have come out in the in the system where Camino is, right? And just because we find the system oh, yeah. doesn't necessarily. So, yeah. And uh, at this point, you were, you had to come out of Camino pr so from Camino pretty far away, just because of the astrological um, bodies that are there. Exactly. So you are about three days journey from Camino. And there, and once you get there, there are two small outposts, and uh, there is one asteroid belt that you have to that you have to go near, right? So at this point, uh, who is running your scanners? You might want to say who's in what position. Yeah, one second. Um, yeah, I'm, actually, I'm co-pilot uh, co because I, uh, I'm good with mechanics. Co-pilot spot. Computer, so. Who's in the pilot seat? It would be Ren. Ren. Uh, who's on the guns? I'm probably in the lounge until something goes south because That's, yeah. I don't really like this. No problem. I'm Absolutely. on training. I'm no, on, I mean, I'm on training like, duty. If, it, if something does go wrong, oh, so if, if Hill goes well, to the when, when it goes wrong, he takes the he takes over piloting, and we both jump and on we the jump on the quads. Oh, the, I'm sorry. So you're absolutely right. I'm not asking now. You're, he's right. People are just like drinking hot chocolate. Well, actually, wait. So you're saying when you come out of hyperspace into a new system, you don't want to see you're, it. Yeah, you're not going to be in a gun's position. Do we have a reason to believe it's a hostile? Like, I would. Would I have a? I mean, I'd have a sense of that. Like, would I have a reason to believe I'm going to get? I think yeah, you would, yeah, you absolutely. Uh, I think you at least want to be in the cockpit to yeah. see what's happening. Okay, well, that, I mean, with yeah. that knowledge, yeah, then yeah, sure. I would be in the guns. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you are on the better gun, which I believe is on the ventral or the dorsal. When I watched the Star Wars movies, they always had to run to the gun, so they were never actually sitting in the gun. That's true. Yeah, well, that's a good point. That's a good point. All right, so uh, complete with Scott. See, if I was a Jedi, on I'd be our like three way there and everything, I'm, so, I'm going to be training the Ewoks again <laughs> because I would like to bond with them more. Yeah, and I feel like it would make them a little bit stronger. Uh, now I you're trying. Are you trying to train I them for force now, or are you training no, them? No, I'm, I'm just training them physically. Uh, fighters and maybe yeah. a little bit mentally, like no, no, work, working on their sense. patience, yeah. because so I can I tell that they, they get hostile one. very quickly. Yeah. You don't yeah. need, and I'd like to change that. Oh, you don't need good. to be force sensitive to benefit from. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, non-physical elements of the Jedi training. The Antari Rangers have done that. So at this point, so on scanners is you correct? Okay. So actually, yeah. So you're gonna have a three difficulty with one setback and four. for your scanning roll. Okay, what, so you're what? coming out, you're brand new, you wanna see what's here, correct? Or you wanna what is that, is that perception? Blind. Yes. Yes. Do I do that too? Um no, he's on he's on the scan. You're uh, he's oh, he's yeah, you're ship. in your own unit. Yeah, you absolutely can. One yeah. percept so perception yeah. at um uh, and actually so it is going to be your perception. You're going to have one. Uh, you're going to have one additional setback die, and the reason why is your equipment is not nearly as strong. Okay. So as what? Uh, what is the three? I, do, I did upgrade my scanners. Oh, that's fine. You said you three. That boost, that boost. Yeah. So you do have one. I was going to give you two. So you still have one. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You said three, three difficulty. Three difficulty. One setback. Three difficulty. All right. Go ahead. Three roll it up. Yeah. Roll it when you have it. And you can. You yeah. You're good. You got this help. All right. That's not good. So 
success. No, you're doing great. Damage. No, I'm not. Crap was advantages. Yeah, the problem is he doesn't. I got, oh, wait, those are advantages. I got, yeah. I got all the advantages. You got advantage. a critical and a fail. <laughs> I got all the advantages. He critically failed. Right, so you may use that on your strain if you wish. I don't have strain. Yeah. You, can you give it to me? <laughs> can, I give it? can he pass through travel. the force? I'm not next to you. Did we recover any of our strain during the travel time? Yes. Right, one yeah, success with three advantage. Yes. Everyone is at full. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. One Correct. success, three advantage. And you're at full on your strain. Yes. 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 One success, three, three advantage, which a is critical. a critical. Wow. All right, yeah, exactly. He punched all the scanner right, in the So. <laughs> With that, in the face. Perception is the best thing that I do. So, yeah, well done, well done. So I'll get on the uh, the com and uh, call over to Kieran. I'm like, so Kieran, what can you tell me about this system? Uh oh yeah. Do you want to make, you want to make a lore check? Oh, about Camino? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Go right ahead. What's the difficulty? Right. Um, well, actually, you know what? Since you're a Jedi and you're a noble. Um, you do know everything in the prequels that happened at Camino, because that would have been told through the noble families and through, um, mm. yeah. Let's see then. Let's see. Um, it was started by Count. It was started by Count Dooku and Master Saifu Dia. Saifu Dia started the whole cloning process here under the pretext that he was still the Jedi Order. Blah 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 blah. Didn't blah. he go by a different name? No, in in the prequels they called him Master Saifu Dia. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, um, uh, nobody asked. Um, this is actually a failing point of the Jedi because nobody bothered to ask where all these clones came came from. Like nobody asked where they come from. <laughs> no, you'd have just said, "Sweet army, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. take me to the Ford Battery." You must. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what he said. <laughs> Did he really? Yeah. These guys. Oh, here. Okay, I got it. Sorry. Thanks. All right. You see that in the. Um, that one, there are two merchant ships uh, just going along regular. Uh, there are two merchant ships here, all right, um, within scanner range, and that in the uh, in the asteroid belt, there are eight cloak-shaped fighters that are clearly pirated, like that are essentially positioned for pirating, and that anybody that approaches uh, Camino, they're ready the to follow them in and attack them on the approach. Okay.